let's take a quick look at some fun Linux rises. Now we have the first rise by Yu Zajinji. I hope I didn't butcher their name. It's called Gnome 43, my first rise. I really like the the font that they're using. I am also always a fan of like this status bar at the top over here. I don't know why it just feels better to have it up top than in the bottom. The dock in the bottom is also a very nice touch. I have to go out of the way. Oh. Looks like a lot of it is stock GNOME. I haven't used GNOME in a while. I mean, I'm using it now, but I haven't rised it. It's a pretty nice rise, especially for being the first one. The Brett Teleporter 2000, what a good name, went out of their way to create a fake Linux 7 lookalike with Arch Linux. Huh? Amazing. I mean, it looks exactly like Windows 7. It makes practical sense to have this if you're like pen testing. You don't want to seem suspicious. You just open up your Kali distro that looks like Windows 7 or Windows 10 or whatever the company is using and then nobody will suspect the thing. We all know that only hackers use Linux, right? That That's how it works. Use Linux and then you become instantly a hacker. That's a rule, right? All right, we have Tmox, my self-built IDE by Cakes24. Okay, it's a bit too messy for my taste. You can see they have like NeoFetch or something like that over here. DWM. Oh, Joker Smoke Clarification. It looks pretty clean, but why? Why, why, why would you have the status bar at the bottom instead of the top? I don't know if I should ask the question, but are you more of a top or a bottom type of person? I like this float term thing file manager i also like that like everything is in the same color scheme more or less it's gotta be a pain to do that it's an now let's go to something that i'm actually familiar with which is the i3 gaps now INEE is the learning platform from e-learn security themselves and they provide a ton of courses like cybersecurity courses coding courses cloud courses everything that you want to learn about computer science you can do this on their platform. As soon as you sign up for one of their premium plans, you even get a 50% discount on your next exam voucher. So head over to the link that you're seeing popping up over here on screen and sign up for an INEE premium subscription today so you can learn about hacking and get certified. <laughs> Seepers 13, we start with uh, why? Why do you have the bar at the bottom. Put it up top, it looks much nicer. But I like the background, it reminds me of the Looney Tunes if they were depressed. Just basically i3 with some fancy icons down here. And the notification looked more sophisticated, but we're missing NeoFetch. I mean, it's, it's a slick design, not much to talk about it. It's just simple, clean, dark, Enjo I enjoyed this. I would love to have this kind of setup, but I don't know if that's really possible with the Mac. What's Exodia OS? Ooh, it looks very synth wavy, retro futuristic. I like that. And it comes with 13 themes. Let's take a look at the themes. They, they look actually kind of nice. I think I've been wasting my time with Manjaro. Flash warning here, by the way. Oh, I like it. I, I, I should take a look at this. It's all matching already. Now that's, oh, and I like, look, the bar is at the top. They know what they're doing. So if, if, you're, if your state, state as far is at the top, then you definitely know what you're doing. Now look at this. You look like you're straight out of a Mr. Robot movie with this. And you can change the theme via Control Alt and T. What? So you can change the theme during the usage. So you can go into hacker mode or once you entered the system, you can go into full-fledged hacker mode with this red theme. Hack the box, which looks like it's using the color scheme, at least from the Hack the Box uh, Parrot OS distro. Now, if you enjoyed this custom Linux desktops, you should check out the video popping up over here where I showcase some more Linux rises. See you over there.